course, of course, of course a horse. God damn it. It's like it's like when you go into the it's like it's like when you go into the mechanic and suddenly your car starts working again and then I guarantee you, you the minute you drive off that lot just just your just your uh, just like just like the uh, just like just like the engine just pops out just straight up the engine just pops out as soon as you're away that that's called Murphy's law right there that's just straight up Murphy's law there's no there's no ifs or buts about it that is just Murphy's law what can go wrong will go wrong holy Jesus butts this is loud. Oh, uh, why is the sound so loud? All right, let me let me proc this down. Holy butts, though. Um, let's go ahead and load this up. So we're at Star Camp. Uh, looks like it doesn't really matter which one of these. I'll just go with this one. There we go. The guided hand, so we need to steal items. Alright. Well, that'll be weird. But, um, what else can we do right now? Uh, we need to go ahead to Warren's Bridge. There's also two knights and a trowel. Why haven't I done this one? Hold up a second, why haven't I done this quest? Why in the butts have I not done this yet? Alright, well I guess we're doing that. Yeah, why in the butts have I not done this yet? Wait, why did it say quest updated? Hold up, it's still got the right quest, right? It's still got the right quest, we're good. Oh, it's that too. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I know, game. I can go into Reckoning Mode. There aren't any enemies! What do you want me to do? Just proc Reckoning Mode just right now, just for the fuck of it? Alright. Y'all gonna die. Oh, Jesus, we're about to do a suplex on this guy. Oh, God, we just suplexed him into oblivion. That gave us no experience points. Kind of a bit of a waste. Oh, well. It's whatever. We can always just refill our fate bar later on. Also, I have stuffy. See? It's Lil Kawi. Because... Kawi, cause Kawi not here right now, cause she had to go out to the store and get stuff. But D has her right here. He's stuffy. Wow. Well, that was easy. Okay. Uh, we got the Ballads Library. Hello. Oh, do you come in? You must forgive my lack of hospitality. The Maid of Windermere and her minions have left me in a bit of a situation. Preth and Aramur could offer no remedy, but perhaps your mortal ingenuity will prevail where others have failed. What happened? The Maid paid me a visit this past evening. She and her accomplice, Nyx the Troll, stole my most prized cairns. All that work, and for what? With what I know, I should have expected an attack. Even this imprisonment spell. 
It is the same she used in the ballad of two knights and a troll. I can't recall the counterspell, of course, as that cairn was stolen. You must get them back, mortal. All of them. Especially the one you came for. Her nearest lair is Sunder Caverns, where her minion Nyx makes his home. It is a craggy pit in Haxi, east. It is a tale of what happens when one wishes to become something he has not. In this case, the subject of the song was Nyx the Troll, a loathsome, pitiful brute. As a jest, the Mage of Windermere enchanted Nyx into believing he was an ordinary man. He attempted to settle in a quaint mortal village to predictable disaster. When the Knights Kreth and Aramur arrived, they treated him like the man he longed to be. They challenged Nyx to a gentlemanly duel and slew him in fair combat. Ah. The collection was commissioned by Lord Issa himself, but it was Helm the White who championed its creation and who crafted the Fey Cairns. As long as the library and its many cairns remain, the songs of summer will have a place in this world, being sung again and again for an eternity. Also, my character looks about as stoned as I am. Like, just look at that face. She looks, she looks as high as I am. Like, I think she's been smoking the grass, if you know what I mean. Surely you know the songs of Sir Kreth and Sir Aramur. Faithful friends and oh, and she's a meth addict. I mean, look at that face. That is the face of either a crack addict or a meth addict. That is certainly their most popular ballad. They were here only moments ago, and I sent them after the villain who did this. My hopes for rescue go with them. Oh, jeez. It is a form of magic new to our kind. Oh, jeez. Creation of our own Hallam the White. It is what he and I have been doing here in the library these past few seasons. Lore stunts have become a common magic among the young races. They are readily made, changed, and defiled. We Fae need a new currency of telling, a new way. The Echo Stone and the Fae Cairns are the latest in a series of experiments, as Hallam and I seek a way to protect and perpetuate our greatest songs. They were designed by Father Tear, a mortal, and I worked with Hallam the White to fashion the enchanted cairn shell itself. Quite a discovery they are. It took more than a season to conceive of, and then create the first working cairn. But it has been worth all my efforts. Our songs of summer are safe for now. She is the Witch Magwir, sworn enemy of our great house and Enchantress Supreme. She will do anything within her power to win the love of our brave King Wensen. As it is now, and as it has always been, she preys upon the wild and stupid to reach her goals. But something is different this time. She is growing ambitious. Okay, so the king has a crazy axe. As in his ballad, Nyx ran when he Or just crazy stalker. He is clearly under the maid's curse and may be doing her bidding. He ransacked the cottage and made off into the night, his gigantic arm piled high with fey cairns. My fey cairns. I am Tenwa, formerly a knight of the House of Ballads. Many seasons ago, I was asked to give up my post and come here to work on the fey cairns. Hallam has trusted me with protecting the catalogue of legendary summer feats. I guarantee that every song is sung as it should be. So, is a token you can guess one in... One six two two one twelve times good enough for the randomness on the web. That's yeah, that's pretty good. See you soon. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, okay. So how is our armor doing? Our armor's doing all right for right now. Yeah, all of our oh, we could we could do with the repair at some point, but not immediately. All right, so we need to recover. We need to recover the Fey Karen. The Fey Karen. Trolls are highly resistant to most types of magic. Um. Ah. Uh, you see, the problem here is that our entire build so far has been magic. Oh, there's another quest down there. Let's go grab it. Let's go do that. Yeah, this might get a little bit hairy.
Um, oh, hey, there's some loot right here. Um, we got some boot. Uh, they require finesse, so no. Uh, that just plain old sucks, so no. Not good enough. That can be brute forced. Wait, really? How? Oh, right, with, like, botting system. Like, with some sort of, like, scripted AI that just keeps, like, continuously... Because if you tried to do that by, like, human hands, yeah, that'd be impossible. When I'm thinking of it, like, if you're scripting. Mass requesting sending from one PC. Okay. Oh, uh, we got a crude birch stat. That plain old sucks. Leather armor kind of sucks. Like, that's for, like, uh, 32 bit uh, numbers. 64 bit, on the other hand. Pa uh, 64. Uh, 64 Factorio 64. Possible combinations. That is a lot of combos. Yeah, in general, I don't understand why Windows refuses to get rid of 32-bit operating systems. Like, why would anyone use a 32-bit operating system? I I do not understand. But maybe that's just me. You there? Did the Warsworn send you? It's about damn time. I've been rotting in this forest for near a week, and Jory's dead. The trolls are much worse than we thought. We thought rock trolls were bad enough. But these are mountain trolls, twice as strong and very ill-tempered. Oh, excellent. Look, we meant to take care of this situation, but things got out of my control. One of the mountain trolls killed Jewelry. Anyhow, I'm glad someone arrived at last. The mountain trolls must be stopped. The one that got Jewelry is still at the camp we made out here. If you can take care of this, I'll be able to retrieve Jewelry's belongings from the camp. I promise you what's left of his sword is reward. Uh, this might be a bit hairy. Because again, trolls are resistant to magic. And all we have to throw at people is magic. We came through training together. No one could outdrink jewelry. One time, I remember he actually managed to... You know what? It doesn't matter. Bastard's dead. Hell of a time we had, though. He was one of the good ones. Foul brutes. Unbelievably strong. Twice as strong as everyday rock trolls. And now they've come to Haxi. When you come across any, try to get in close. The belly is where they're tender. Slip a blade or two in there and they won't be on their feet for long. Uh, you see, that's the problem. I don't know how to... I, I mean, my character doesn't even know how to, like, hold up a sword. Doesn't even know how to hold up a knife to, like, cut butter. Sworn to war we are. Swords for hire. Not a bad way to make a living if you know which end of a blade to hold. Do you, like, do you know how many combos that is? I do not know what 64 Factorio 64 equals. All of them. I think there are five wandering the surface, including one at our makeshift camp. The contract was to clear the forest. Do that and I'll be able to return home with honor. Try not to die. Well, that was easy. I guess we're just really over-leveled for this area, which is to be kind of expected. Um, yeah, I don't want those. Chainmail gauntlets, don't want those. We'll just put both of those into the junk pile. Very easy, well. Oh, crap. I thought you said very easy. There we go. I got a load of BS. A load of bullshit. A loaded amount of bull. 
crap. Oh, uh, where? Th oh, hey, you have some uh, chakra. They're not as good as mine, as my dragon eyes. Like, do you know how many combos that is? Three point nine e plus one hundred and fifteen. Can you read scientific no? Uh, no, K. I used to be able to read that because I think they taught me that in science class at one point. I've forgotten by now, but like I remember learning that roughly in like in like uh, in like uh, freshman year science. <laughs> Ironically, I didn't learn that in math. I learned that in, fre in like science. Move the uh, 1.5 uh, five to the right. Okay. Uh, that's a load of crap. That's a load of crap. Well, that was an easy quest to complete, wasn't it? No, move the comma. Oh, oh, move the comma to the right. Yeah. What day? Rude steel chakram. Oh, they're crap. Well, add it to the junk pile. Yeah, it looks like we uh, completed the contract, so all we have to do now is go talk to the guy. Oh, there it is. I was like, I know there's a regin on this, which we weren't able to grab. There you are. Well done, friend. Well done indeed. I know in time the trolls will return, but at least now I can make it back to Shieldred Keep with my head held high. Here, take this. It was Jewelry's sword. Broken now, but she might be mighty again if a skilled smith wants to make her so. It's what Jewelry would have wanted. I was unable to complete the contract, but since you have, you best get your own eye back to Shieldred Keep and turn it in. Off with you then. Later then. Well, that's not too far away at all. If we just go down the main road, we'll be good. Jump! Jump! Oh, hey, there's some regents. Regent, 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 regent. Also, we've had today's uh, flights canceled because of hard winds. Okay. All, at, at least I don't live in the Alpha's Mountains. Um, they get a lot of snow. I can imagine from it being a mountain that it would have a lot of snow. I can, I can picture that. 
Receive Two Knights and a Troll, Part 1. Can we actually read these? Oh, let's see. This unique lore stone details one part. It is meant to be used with an echo stone. Okay. Um, 6.5 feet in one night of snow. Jesus Christ. That is a lot. That's like, that's like larger than my body right now. I, uh, yeah. I accidentally hit the wrong. Um, leather armor, uh, some potions. Whatever the heck that is. Hello. Well, well. You truly fit Hallam's description. It's nice to finally gaze upon the new Thagral. I am Sir Ermer. This is my companion, Sir Kreth. Ah. Welcome to Sunder Caverns. If you come in search of the Maid of Windermere, I must disappoint you. She's nowhere to be found. Well, you wish to know about the storyteller? Ha! Not even I know the ballads of Halloween. Yeah, um, insane. Yeah, I know! And he's worked hard to keep it so. Well, that being said, I have complete trust in his judgment, even about you. What's weird, it's supposed to snow in Bakersfield once every, like, ten years, I think it is. And it's been, uh, it's almost been twenty years now without snow. It's supposed to be, like, one day, one day that randomly happens, like, every about, like, ten years or so. And it still hasn't happened. Like, it happened the one time when, uh, when my parents first moved here. But that's about it. I am Sir Ermer at your service. My oath bond brother and knight hand Kreth and I were the knights who returned the flaming sword of Rydark. I believe that there is no higher calling than the House of Ballads. We are all that stands between glory and complete anonymity. He is my shadow, always there when I need him, and his courage never falters. We are one. When Ballads call for Sir Ermer, Sir Kreth will be close behind. So you're the two knights. It was the fabled blade used to beat back the Balgan during an incursion many seasons ago. Kreth and I still argue over which of us the blade truly belonged to. You too. Well, I managed to find one, but there are plenty more. The maid had them. She was here one moment, but gone the next, as is her way. She did leave behind her old ally, Nyx the Troll, to give us a bit of trouble and slow our pursuit. Kreth and I have fought Nyx more times than I dare count. You could say he's an old friend. If you're interested in joining our little hunting party, feel free. All right. Uh, I guess we're gonna go ahead and join them. Uh, we got some shock rims. They're worse than what I have. Even though they do have utility sockets, it's like not worth it. Greater damage. To I should really start spamming out some of these potions. But I just haven't needed them. I have so many potions that I don't even need them. Oh my gosh, um... We got a pile of rocks which has shielded boots, not that great. Uh, can't equip that. Scepter of Dawn is pretty crappy. How are we doing? Oh my god, my inventory's backed up again. Oh, damn it. How much I can do about it for right now. Smell 
handle that. Oh, we got the third part. Oops. Um, they're actually really good, but they're not as good as my legendary. So, eh. Oh, this is straight up better than what I currently have. A lot better, in fact. Oh, it doesn't have a utility socket, which is kind of a bummer, but... Eh. Let's equip that. Also, at the moment, we're having controversy from the Nashville de Declaration. Thanks, America. What's Nashville de Declaration? Like, what is that? I'm, I'm just curious. Because I have zero idea right now. Uh, some sort of church thing. Oh, okay. That's probably why I don't know about it, because I don't even go to church. Like, I haven't gone to church in, like, the last two years now. The, uh, the only... I don't even know why I went to church. Um... Basically denying gay people and such and saying marriage, according to the Bible, is only possible. Yeah, which, again... That's just people making up stuff. That, that's just, once again, people making up stuff that isn't actually in the Bible. And for whatever reason, people are stupid enough to believe it. Oh my god, it's like... If people would just pick up a Bible and read it... Before they start preaching their relig- Before they start believing other people who tell them stuff... Then we wouldn't have this problem. All it would take is just for- Is just for every churchgoer to actually read a Bible. And, you know, we wouldn't be having these issues. But that's not gonna happen anytime soon. It's like, yeah, even when- even when I- I wasn't even that actively religious, but when I went to church, I would actually read. We- we had- we had entire- we had entire, like, study groups and stuff, and... Yeah, I'd actually, you know, do this crazy thing with my eyeballs, called reading a book. Not just going like, all right, so this guy said that X is in the Bible, therefore I believe, no, 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 I actually properly use these two things inside my head called eyeballs and looked at it and was like, and I kind of picked, I kind of pick and, ch I, kind of, I kind of was very pick and choosy on what I agreed with and what I didn't. Which is why I eventually just stopped going to church after a while. Because, eh? Also, it's crazy how many people went on break today because of... Yeah.
There we go. Okay, it's beat. It's beat. Down goes Nyx. Holy shit, that gave me 2,000 XP straight up. Good lord, that was worth it. That wasn't so terrible now, was it? Still, I'm baffled as to why Nyx was outside Sunder Caverns. It was surely not to play his part in the coming ballad. There's more going on here than Kreth and I are party to, and I want to know what. We'll speak again back at the House of Ballads. And Sagro, thank you. These are times of change, and we all must be in our guard. S S uh, S G D Q. Goodbye. What does that mean? Um, that is a really crap, that is such a crap legendary weapon. Oh, well, I guess it's level three legendary, so, you know, it's not going to be that amazing. Ah, crap, we're out of inventory space. No, we need to sell crap. God damn it. Okay, that is actually the quick way out of here. Summer games done quick. Oh, okay. Taxi! Uh, before we head there, I need to sell crap. Sure, we'll sell crap in Canterock. I just need somewhere to drop off the goods. So all of these random McGobbins. And then my inventory problems should just resolve. Yes, I have a moment I can spare for you. Are we ever gonna use the Frostweave stuff? Not really. It's just uh, I guess I could put it. You know what I could do? It's quieter than I've heard in all my years. In some ways, it's as disconcerting as knowing the spiders were still out there. Aside from your doings, I have the feeling that there won't be any more tales to tell of Webwood. Good day. Okay, let's go into our house really fast. And let's start stashing some stuff. Wait, the veil I flat out can't put. Really weird that I can't put the veil. Huh. Weird. Uh, we don't need this man. Uh, we have like a metric crapload of greater healing potions. So, um, go ahead and put like... We'll put like half into inventory. Um, we don't need this many. Let's go ahead and put like... Another five in there. Um, I should really be drinking these experience boosters as well, because they would actually help me out quite a bit. Right, so now we have a decent stockpile of inventory space. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and we'll go all the way over to the Ballads Library. I forgot to repair my equipment. Sorry, we'll have to go back to Canterock then. Damn it. Hello, gamer. How goes the stream? Hello, uh, Shimopolette. Zar- 
How do I pronounce that? Yes. Sorry. Sometimes, Excellent. sometimes it can be a bit weird. But hello, welcome to the live stream and all that. Hope you have a good time here. For later. For now, you must break this cursed spell. As you've no doubt noticed, those cairns are warded and will not reveal their secrets. They will, however, last an eternity. Schmall. Okay, schmall. After all, it is their telling potate. Small potate. Even if that means swaying him time after time. Those cairns are like lore stones, but special. They are enchanted, and the only way to unlock their contents is to use the Echo Stone. The one in the next room is one of Hallam's early attempts, but it should work. Go listen to two knights and a troll. Find the words that will free me from this prison. It is a magical shrine, specially created to hold the most glorious... Or just small. Okay. In time. There is one in the other room. See you soon. May the stone sing your song to the ages. May the breath of time remember you. Listen. Listen as the echo stone etches each ballad in memory. The story of two valiant souls I bring, of the lords named Aermer and Crethysing, two hearts united against common foes, the thoughts of one in mind, the other knows. Lord Creth of Knights, most stoic and grave, Lord Aramer's hand and shadow the brave. And gentle Aramur, his equal in might, dawn to Kreth's dusk, day to his night. Here is the tale of how they stopped a troll, the maid of Windermere corrupted its soul. The troll named Nix had a most troubled heart. In nature was it displeased with its part. It hated its difference from the norm and wished to shed its current form. In grief it went to the Maid of Windermere. She motioned to Nix and beckoned him near. It is your wish to be human, I see. She like, do you know how important randomness to the web is? Yeah, cause like, tokens and stuff. Guess who's here? Hello, Hill Gavin. Welcome to the live stream. Go. Hello. And so the troll named Nix to town it came. Also, I have Stuffy. Because Kawi not here right now, so I have the plush version of her. Because Kawi had to go to supermarket to buy stuff. They faced the troll and fought to no avail. How about salting passwords? What was wrong in our Salting? Sprinkling salt on passwords? We know in part what is wrong with this fay. And so Lord Aramur shouted to Lord Cref. Challenge this troll to a duel to the death. The troll still under the wicked maid's spell. And was human, it thought, and all was well. Rampaged throughout the countryside in joy. Treating all as toys. Lord Aramur slowly approached him and said, If you are human, deal as such instead. Faith us, if that is your fate. Duel us, and reveal the truth of your state. Then the troll and fay did battle and fought. Alas, all was not as the troll had thought. AKA, uh, me too. I have rock off. I have rock rough because daddy's at work. Okay. AKA, a random string of characters so you can't make a list of passwords. Okay. After he had won, Lord Kreth said to Nix, with a mind to ease and a will to fix. You are a troll, and that is good, my friend. You have no faults, no wrong to mend. But if it be your wish to join their kind, a better way you must find. 
There is naught wrong with following your will, as long as it does not bring others ill. Again, the heroes of honor stay true. The story of a troll and the knights too. Uh, what? Did you discover the words to the counter spell? Ah. Uh. Um. Please do hurry. See you All right, let's think about this for a moment. I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. I'm fairly, I'm fairly sure, and I know what it is. But um, just in case, we're saving the game. And if you want to uh, be extra secure, add a paper loop, add a proper loop, a proper loop. I won't be able to watch the day after tomorrow, though, next Tuesday, because I'll be in Tennessee on vacation. Okay. Are you to speak the counter spell? Um. I don't think it's the. I don't think it's this one. I don't think it's this one. I think it has to be the middle one, because that makes the most sense as far as counter spells go. I thought that was it. Apparently not. See you soon. All right, I guess I'm. Hello. Huh. Are you ready to speak the counter spell? Is it the is it the top one? It, it can't be the third one. If it's the third one, that's kind of stupid. Like I thought for sure it'd be this one. But whatever. Hear me, and don't forget a word. What Hallam feared is coming to pass. Somehow, using a new and twisted magic, the Maid of Windermere hopes to alter the telling. At this I moment, don't understand how I was supposed to get a counter spell out of that. I just had to guess. I don't really understand that at all. How was I supposed to get a counter spell out of that? That just makes no sense. But whatever. I I don't know. Someone can try someone can try to explain that to me. But I don't really get it. I I didn't really get the point. Like, I don't know. It's just like random stupid ass riddle that I'm never gonna be able to solve ever. It's so, exactly eh. what happens when one wishes to become something he has not. In this case, the subject of the song was Nyx, the troll, a loathsome, pitiful brute. As a jest, the Maid of Windermere enchanted Nyx into believing he was an ordinary man. He attempted to settle in a quaint mortal village to predictable disaster. When the knights Kreth and Aramur arrived, they treated him like the man he longed to be. They challenged Nyx to a gentlemanly duel and slew him in fair combat. Yeah, that's what we just read. That, that's what we just read, is that basically... I mean, I got the meaning, I got the interpretation of the story. I just don't get how I take a story and somehow pump out a answer like that. I don't know, it's, it's kind of idiotic. It's kind of idiotic and stupid, but whatever. You know, maybe, that, maybe that's just me, maybe there's something I'm genuinely not getting about this whole thing. But like, I don't know, it just, it just seems like a stretch. It seems like such a far stretch from like left field that it's just absurd. The great collection was commissioned by Lord Isa himself, but it was Hallam the White who championed its creation and who crafted the Fey Cairns. As long as the library and its many cairns remain, the songs of summer will have a place in this world, being sung again and again for an eternity. Me used to have that game before, sorry for my potty mouth, but as we said, my Xbox started to be a bitch and ruin my games. Oh yeah, I used to have a game called Fable, and you want to know what happened to my copy of Fable? It was working fine, and then my Xbox DVD drive broke, and I couldn't play anything on it anymore. 
So I pretty much had a paperweight at that point. This is a form of magic new to our kind, a creation of our own Hallam the White. It is what he and I have been doing here in the library these past few seasons. Lore stunts have become a common magic among the young races. They are readily made, changed, and defiled. We Fae need a new currency of telling, a new way. The Echo Storm Also, it should be noted that with an Xbox, if your DVD drive breaks on Xbox, you can't just stick a new DVD drive in there because the serial codes and such have to line up. Basically, like, the region codes or whatever, they have to line up. So yeah, if your DVD drive breaks, you're pretty much fucked. They were designed by Father Tear, a just straight and fucked. With Helen, the white to fashion the you might as well just throw it in a dumpster. Quite a discovery they are. It took more than a season to conceive of and then create the first working cairn. But it has been worth all my efforts. Our songs of summer are safe for now. It is good you killed him. He deserved it for working with the likes of the maid. Of course he will be back, so don't get too self-congratulatory. I am Tenwa, formerly a knight of the House of Ballads. Many seasons ago, I was asked to give up my post and come here to work on the Fae Cairns. Hallam has trusted me with protecting the catalog of legendary summer feats. I guarantee that every song is sung- Huh? My- I think someone's calling my- let me go ahead and grab my phone really fast. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the. There we go. For some reason, whenever I have to turn on my microphone again, and it, it throws me off every single time, because basically, my, uh, my microphone, so like, I, I only push it once to turn it off, but to turn back on my microphone, I have to push the power button twice. Don't ask me why. Honestly, I think I got a bit of a weird model, because, um, there's, um, basically, basically, there's no lettering. There's no lettering on the mute button, or the volume button. I'm pretty sure I got a... I, other than that, it works fine, though. But, like, yeah, there's just a few weird quirks with it. Which, you know, is fine. It just makes my microphone a little bit more unique. That's alright with me. The sound quality is good, and everything else is good. But, yeah. Anyway, though, my, uh, my girlfriend called me because she was, uh, she was asking me why I wanted, uh, what I, uh, why I wanted from, like, Burger King and stuff, so that was cool. And, um, yeah. Go find Winston and Hallam. Terribly sorry about the break, by the way. I will sing of you, my friend. Do 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 I'm gonna go all the way back to, like, Canterock, because I forgot, like, a noob to, uh, fix my equipment. Which wasn't exactly the brightest move ever, but it's fine, we can just go back here and, um, talk to some guy to be like, Hey, can you repair my shit? And we accidentally broke a table. Oh well. Hopefully that... Hopefully, hopefully having these orbs around won't get us arrested one of these days. I really hope not. Oh, gosh. 
There's roof beams to cut, thatch and wattle to collect, and daub to form. We'll need more rope, more pulleys, and more than a fair bit of luck. I'm sorry, stranger. It seems I'm the man to get this village rebuilt. I have to get the next few months of work straightened out. Yeah, I'm gonna add even more work to your already busy schedule. Because I've got a bunch of legendary items for you to fix. All equipped items have been repaired. Nice. Keep safe. Okay, so now we just need to return back to the house of... Fast travel? What? Why can I know fast tra- Can I fast travel there? I used to play Elder Scrolls Online before I realized that game is garbage and a, a decree- and a, and a disgrace to, uh, to the Elder Scrolls. I have never played, like, uh, like any, uh, like any of the Elder Scrolls games. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure why I can't just fast travel to the House of Ballads. It's not letting me. I used to be able to fast travel to the House of Ballads. I don't know why I can't anymore. That's dumb. That's probably a bug. I'm gonna assume that's a bug of some kind. Because that seems very glitchy. Like, it's not even, like... It's just weird, because I've already visited that location. They're fun, but you should start with Merowin if you're thinking of playing it. Okay. The only thing I don't like that kind of makes me a little bit hesitant is that I want to play with mods. The problem is, is that the horrible mod site, unless you pay money, you only get a 1.5 meg download, and that's bullshit. Like, I don't like that at all. That's what kind of turns me off of playing it, is because of the horrible mod community. That's just like, oh, if you want actually fast speed, it's like, I shouldn't have to pay to have faster than 1.5 on your site. I don't know, me, that's just me. But, like, I I played another game that uses the same site, which was, um, which was, uh, I can't remember what game it was. But, yeah, they were like, you can only down, you can only get 1.5 meg speed, and it's like, what the fuck is wrong with your retarded site? How about your site just dies? I hope your site just burns to the ground. I hope someone just, like, just, like, DDoSes the shit out of you until obliv- until you're just nothing. Until you're just a pile of ashes and code. Jesus Christ. Like, that is such utter BS. You may search the Empire ten times over, but you will not find your beloved Wenson, nor his foolish court of enchantment. Oh, that's why we couldn't fast travel. You are mine. Dream of me, lovely, for we shall be together soon. The time is coming. Well, then. That explains why we couldn't fast travel. Because I guess there was an event going on. Good. You are well. The same cannot be said of the king, nor of the court of enchantments. In my absence, the maid has taken them. Taken them all. Tenwa says that the greatest of ballads, the hero and the maid, was not recovered. This song above all the others must be found. You have acted as our agent thus far, Sagru. Do you continue to stand by us? With all our heroes gone, you may very well be our last light in the darkness. In that ballad, King Wenson defeats the Maid of Windermere once and for all. He confesses his love 
to trick her into an embrace. It is close enough for him to strike. If the maid is truly altering our ballads towards more favorable outcomes for her and her minions, then she could rewrite her own demise. She could avoid it altogether. You are no stranger to death, so you must have felt it. The fall of all magic. I have foreseen it for seasons. And as I am not one to stand by, I chose to act. With a small group of dedicated individuals, fey and mortal alike, I set about preparing a way for the great songs of the summer court to find permanence. The Cairns are the result of this effort. They are magic, but magic that will not fade. I think it was seven days to die. I'm pretty sure it was seven days to die was the game I was thinking of. But yeah, I tried to play that with like a, with like Kari and another friend of mine. And uh, we were playing a modded and to go and I had to go onto this one site to download the mod. And it was like, oh, if you don't pay us, you get like 1.5. It's like, how about I really hope that just a team. I really hope that just a seal team of hackers just like just like I want like every I want like I want that site to just burn just absolutely delete every server they have until there's just nothing but ashes. I knew I could count on you. Like that's disgusting. Uncertainty. Your loyalty has proven steadfast. It is no use for us to combat the maid of Windermere when we do not understand her new magic. There is only one man I know who might shed light on our ignorance. His name is Father Eter. He is a monk and an alchemist, and a trusted friend. Eter may have the answers we seek. Yeah, like, I'm really hoping that, like, net neutrality happens, because then it means the site can't flat out do that. At least I'm fairly certain? I don't know, though. I'm fairly sure that there's net neutrality, then one of the things that would cover that is that you can't, for example, have a website where like you're where like you limit people to a certain download rate unless they pay money. Because, yeah, that's insane. That's just insanity. I'm fairly certain that net neutrality would cover that. Well, I could be wrong because I haven't looked into it. I don't know enough about it to really know. Like, I've heard it's a good thing. I've wanted to look more into it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. The creation of a new form of magic, a permanent magic, was a necessity for our kind. The rise of the mortal races coincides with our decline. Lore stones are a faulty method of remembrance. One that can be changed, destroyed. But the Kerns... They are invulnerable to harm. They are forever. I have known Neter for 40 seasons. He believes in his God's order, and I have learned to respect his beliefs. Aside from being a follower of Metharu, Neter is the most skilled alchemist I have ever known. His wise gaze peers even deeper into the mysteries of life than mine. It is the foundation of our great inheritance, the canon of stories celebrated by all the Summer Fae. In it begins our timeless struggle with the Maid of Windermere. Driven mad by our love for King Wenson, the Maid finally ensnares him with a spell of longing and retreats to her castle. There, she waits to consummate the union. All is not lost. Wenson fights the enchantment. Inspired by his ardor for Belmaid, his true beloved, taking the maid in his embrace, he slays her once and for all. Father Eter watches over a small Almain mission in the southeast, St. Edric's. You will know it by the runes on the hill. Go. Find it here. Okay, so... 
But yeah, I guess we're uh, I guess we're done with uh, two nights in a troll la 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 troll la 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 la.